Groundhog Day, the age-old tradition of watching Punxsutawney Phil emerge from hibernation and tell a bunch of guys in top hats what the weather's going to be like for the second half of winter. Thousands of people converge at Gobbler's Knob in Pennsylvania every February for this three-day celebration. The holiday as we know it today has changed drastically from the very first Groundhog Day, where the star of the show was actually also on the menu. Yeah, that's right. The celebration in the 1880s featured a variety of groundhog meat dishes. Controversy over Groundhog Day continues, mostly among professional meteorologists that find Phil's lack of education in the field a bit off-putting. In fact, many have made note of his lack of accuracy, while others enjoy the fun that comes with the tradition. And while looking to a rodent for accurate long-range forecasting may seem a bit strange, in Zurich, Switzerland, they march a giant firecracker-filled snowman through town before lighting him on fire. The faster the snowman's head explodes, the warmer they can expect their summer to be. So, whether you choose a terrifying, exploding snowman, a fuzzy woodchuck, or a degreed meteorologist, you have multiple options for your forecast source year after year after year after year. For the National Weather Desk, I'm meteorologist Emily Gracie.